when you go back to the environment, they kind of only know their environment and they appease their, you know, they appease their own environment within their own industry. And they're not utilizing some of the sources outside of their environment or their lane of study to connect the dots. This is probably something in, for your narrative that you should use because the perception, this, I think what we're breaking down now, the perception may not be realized to the consumer about what you're, you're really doing, that little piece of the puzzle. So I think there, I, I would like to th hope that not all scientists are as you just described, but many are. So what like short-sighted, blinkered, and they only think about what they do. So, and that's true for a lot of scientists, but I, I, I would like to hope that more and more scientists are now thinking broader, thinking widely, having more perspective, because I think that's what we lose. We lose as scientists when you are stuck in your lab um, and only worried about your own p little project and, and, and doing that, you lose perspective. And I think that is one of the most dangerous things you can do because the moment you lose perspective, the moment you lose what everyone else is experiencing, then what you do becomes irrelevant. And so you need perspective to make sure that what you research and what you study has relevance because why do it if it's, if it's irrelevant?